Well, hello, everyone. It's Tuesday, January 3rd, and it's a really stressful time of year for accountants. I know how you feel. Uh, accountants, business owners, anybody who's handling year-end tax preparation, uh, not only are you working on last year's information to get it accurate and file it, but you're also doing next year's, and next year's involves rate changes for different states. And so I, I have got this payroll in Google Sheets and a payroll in Excel file as well for all 50 states and I finished New Jersey yesterday and and if you'll see here there's there's a an area in this file that talks about status of have we done every state and supposedly I've done every state and this is the date that I revised the, the rate sometimes rates don't change uh from year to year but many states they do so you're going to want to see a revised January 2023 date and I'm just going through more testing, but I haven't found any significant errors. And anything, anytime I do, I'll let anybody know that has a version or has been using it, but it's looking really good. So we're going to talk about New Jersey today because there's some complicated things going on in New Jersey and I haven't done a New Jersey video. And even though the rates have not changed in years, there's different supplemental taxes that apply to New Jersey. Let me show you what I, what I mean here. When you look at Paycheck City, a very reputable payroll provider, they have a great website and salary calculator that I'll use to check things. And we're looking at New Jersey right here. You can see there are multiple questions that New Jersey has. They're asking about, check this box. Like, does this person have New Jersey family leave insurance as one of the withholdings? Do they have New Jersey SDI, which would be disability? Are you checking that box? Um, what about New Jersey... SUI, State Unemployment Insurance, I believe that is. There's three here. And I was unable to find exactly whether or not there's a standard rate for all of these or whether it's related to the business. So because I don't have an actual business in New Jersey and I haven't tested it out, what I've done in the file, and, and for those that are in New Jersey and, and have a business in New Jersey and are more knowledgeable about this than me, when you um, when you register with the state and, and you know you you get these notices i guess about the type of business and whether or not your employees have these rates i have an area for these rates right here and testing against paycheck city i put in what the inferred rate was every time i tested and i found consistency meaning the family leave insurance rate was 0. 0.0006 or 0. 0.06 percent um and it was 0. 0.00425 or 0.425% was the SUI rate. And I couldn't get anything on an SDI rate at all. So I have that as zero. Whatever your rates are, and if they apply to all employees, you can just type the rate here. You know, if your SDI rate is, uh, you know, 0.001 or whatever, you could just type it in there and it would then calculate SDI at that rate in New Jersey. Um, so these are the areas for that. Uh, the other questions you answer about New Jersey or how many W-4 line allowances are there, and also what the state filing status is, which is actually a letter, A, B, C, D, uh, as you type in the New Jersey preface, you see it's A, B, C, D, you know, you've got a weird choice you have on the New Jersey W-4 that you fill out here. So once you do all that, um, you do get a paycheck and everything does work. And the New Jersey rates are right here. You, you annualize the wages, this is how you do this. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see a little better. Um, annualize the wages, remove the allowance amount. Then you have all these different rate A, B, C, D, and E that could potentially be a different tax rate. And there's a nested if formula that, that has all of the different wage brackets here. Looks like um, it looks like what 1.5% all the way to 11.8%, I think, at the highest rate. Uh, seems to be the variations. And those have not changed since 2021. Um, that That is, I believe, what this says here. And that seems to be accurate. So it's just those additional expenses that are messy. There's also unemployment, which I got asked about, just federal unemployment. That's where, where this rate is. You, you type in the federal, un, uh, sorry, the state unemployment rate that the state sends you for your employer-based unemployment. You put that right here. And uh, that will help calculate unemployment. We have an area for unemployment in the pay period record sheet here. And I can show you where that is and we can build a report off of it because I have not built an unemployment report in this file yet, but it's right here. 
And it gives you things like the state's excess wages for the period that would not be taxed by unemployment or whether or not the wages were subject to the unemployment tax, which is this UI wage base. And the actual tax is right here. And the tax that you'd end up paying on each employee related to each pay period or quarter would show up in this column, the state UI tax column. And you can see that that changes when you change the, the rate. Let's raise it to 4.5%. You'll see that this moved from $125 to 225 when we just increased that. If it was a lower rate at just 1%, then it would drop to $50. So you can see how that's dynamic. So that's New Jersey. Uh, complicated with all those additional taxes. And and I, I, I just simply do not know how these apply to every single business. And I suspect that they are not uniform on every single business, which is why Paycheck City gives you the option of checking this box or not, because they realize your business may have employees that do or do not apply in these certain areas. So we've set up that here. And if you need this to apply to certain employees, but not certain employees, then I need to work on this area right here for um, identifying PFI and SDI designations, which is right here. I need to make this more applicable to New Jersey and change these validations so that you can apply certain taxes to certain employees in New Jersey. Very doable, but I don't know if it's needed or I, mean, I just don't know how it works completely in New Jersey, but I do know those taxes exist. So that's New Jersey payroll 2023. That's the update payroll in Excel and payroll in Google Sheets. Uh, it's looking good. And if you want a copy, follow the links, you can purchase a copy. hundred bucks gets you access to this Google Sheet for the whole year. Great deal. Um, it can do amazing things. And you'll see in the video series how I make it do amazing things and, and, and it can customize itself for, to your business. All right. Good luck, Payroll. Should be easy. We are making it so.